I do a quick tour through the house so people can see how I got it all set up for winter with all 21 of my snakes. That's Jasmine up there sunbathing. I moved her back over behind the door. And my monitor and my day bed. This is where I spend all my time with my snakes. Chewy resting under his heat light. And then here we have the four male pastabis. Connie's up there, my big colubri. Down here we have, there's Belle right there in the corner warming up. I see you poop for me. Nice going, girl. And Star, my pied, she's up on top of her hide box. And we have my two inchy ball pythons there. Lydia's here looking at me. Hi, Lydia, what are you up to? I heard you moving around. I had to come see what it was. And then here I have Rastus, my spider male. So yeah, it's nice. I've got it set up really nice for winter. All the snakes are nice and cozy and warm. And loving it. My heart and soul, I love every one of them to death. Let's see, I'll go out here. Got the lock on to keep the cats out from... They get out there and play tag around the snake cages. It drives me nuts. But yeah, this is a snake room. Ugh. I have this tote right here close to the door because Chewy wants out every night. Right now I'm stacking things on top of their cages out here. But Oh, I see Tipper's having a rough shed there, huh, buddy? Ginger's in the hide sleeping. These are all my colubrids. I got another cage up there lights off though because that female doesn't like bright light. There's Spade, my Dumerals. And Sir Grumpy, loving his belly heating pad. I had to put these boards across underneath the cages because I keep my cages raised off the floor so the heat can get up under them for the snakes, but I have to block them off so the cats can't get up under there and raise cane under the snake enclosures. But yeah, I'm all set. Got a big bale of aspen. I love it out here. Got my TV and my surround sound. But yeah, this is out in the snake room. This little electric heater is keeping it really nice out here. It says 64, the thermostat sat on, and it's actually 72 up here. And the enclosures are like between, stay between 78 and 82 on the warm end. So they're fine for winter. It's supposed to be down in the teens and like 9 degrees during the week next week. But as you can see, you can see my TV through the door here. <laughs> I just want to do a tour since I haven't shown anybody my snakes lately. How things are all set up. Yeah. I love it. Usually I have this door open. I let the cats go out there and play. They love raising heck out there. Snake room, it's really nice. I have a bed out here for guests. Well, a futon actually. Sorry about the blur. This thing, the focus on it adapts itself whenever it feels like it. So, yeah. Plastic totes everywhere. I'm real happy with the way things turned out. I love it here. I haven't even done a video of the new bathroom that I had remodeled. Came out really nice too. I'm very happy with everything, except for the stress my first contractor caused me. But yeah, this is my remodeled bathroom. My armoire. I got the folding door up around that hot water heater. Oh yeah, it's real nice. I love it. I'm really happy with the way it came out. So that's a tour of my snake house. Literally snake house. <laughs> 21 of them and I love them all to death. What do you think you're doing, Miss Lily? You're not going in there. No, no. Yeah, I got cheeseburger in the oven cooking stuff I'd make a quick little video and show everybody how things change since show everybody how things change since winter came around you have to move things around the main thing is to be sure your snakes are all accommodated and they're healthy and they stay warm but yeah they love it out there I love it with them out there 
Chewie's the only one that's in the main part of the house because he has to always be able to see where I am and what I'm doing or he bugs out. What are you doing, Lil? <laughs> Run. Jasmine's about ready to shed. You know, people, I don't know why people, other snake keepers, are so prone to believe that because a snake is larger than other snakes of the same species, they're overfed and they're fat. You take your snakes out of your enclosures or your racks, whatever the case may be, and you take them out, you work with them, and you handle them maybe two or three days a week. See how much bigger they can get than the other snakes. Same exact species, same genetics. See the difference in the size of them because they've been out and been handled and worked with and had some activities and exercise. It's up to you. You know, and the people that are stuck on the mindset that any big snake is a fat snake or an overfed snake really needs to get over it because that's not the way it works. Snakes are just like bodybuilders. You feed them a regular diet. They lay around, don't do anything, have no exercise and no activities. They're going to get lazy and fat. Fat. You feed them. You take them out, let them roam around, exercise. They turn that body fat into muscle, just like a bodybuilder does. They bulk up with food and carbs and protein, and then they get exercise and work it off and turn it into muscle. I mean, same thing works for snakes. I don't know why people can't get that through their thick heads, but it works the same way with snakes. So all big snakes aren't fat, obese, overfed snakes. I hear that all the time. It drives me nuts. That's a lack of education on keeping snakes where somebody has them and says, oh, all snakes are big that are like that. They're fat and overfed. That means you don't know very much about snakes. I just want to show everybody how I got set up for winter. It's really cozy. I love it. I have kids come visit with their parents and visit my snakes. They love taking them out in the winter and the summer and spring and everything, but I've had a lot of company lately. That's why I'm kind of behind on posting videos, and plus, it takes a lot of work to get everything winterized for a couple months ahead. I just want to do an update. A couple of my friends ask about some of my snakes because they aren't in my videos a lot, but they're all doing great. No problems at all with any of them. I wanted to make this video to show people, contrary to popular beliefs, big snakes don't mean they're mean snakes. It doesn't mean they're evil. And it doesn't mean they're out to get you because they're not. Now, Chewie's been begging to come out, and I don't like him rubbing his nose. So I'm going to show you how simple it is. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, buddy. Come on, Chew. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on out. Get in your toe. That's my boy. Come on down. Yep. You ready to come out and get on the bed with me? Come on. Yep. Yep. I want to come out. Okay. Get down in your toe. Sorry, I'm shaky. I'm kneeling on one leg. No, no kitty. Get in your toe. <laughs> you leave kitty alone. Get in your toe. Get in. That a boy. See, these animals aren't dumb. They're not stupid animals. They're fully capable of learning routines. Come on down. Get in your toe. You want to come out. See, they know how to come out on their own. They let you know when they want to come out. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on out. You want to come out and get on the bed for a while? Hang out with me and watch TV. Come on. That's a boy. Come on down. Now you see, these aren't dumb animals. They're actually very intelligent. Chewy knows if he gets in this coat, he gets to come out and hang out with me and watch TV. And in the case of spring and summer, he goes outdoors. Go back, Lily. Come on, Grup. Grup. Sorry, wrong snake, Chewy. Yeah, this is my nine-year-old coastal carpet, Chewy. He's huge. And he's very intelligent, very smart. He knows my routines. He 
and I have an amazing relax. What do you got on your chin, cat hair? We got be cat hat, cat hair on your chin. Let me have it. Okay. Sorry. Keep going. Don't have much left. Come on. That's my boy. Good boy. Get your coat. And see, they know how to do this on their own. You don't have to force them out. These are smart animals. They learn. They're fully capable of learning. Come on. Nothing left but your tail there. Come on. Come on. Bring the rest out. Come on. I'll put you on the bed. I'm going to drop my camera again. Come on. He's watching YouTube. What are you watching, Ben? No, right now he's watching a spider. He's watching a video on YouTube. Let your friend grow up. He is too. He's watching that screen everywhere you move it. I'll be dang. He's watching a spider video, Carla. Ruffers. <laughs> Where he is so strong. Oh my god. No, no let's buddy. stay up. The floor is chilly. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Grub. Oh my god, he's lassoing my shoulder. <laughs> he's heavy. Yeah, he's pure. pure muscle. That's what you get when you let him get some exercise and activities. You know, buddy. They don't get fat, they get muscular. You go see Carla? You know, buddy. He's got me. What's up? Hey. <laughs> How's it going, pal? Mm -hmm. I love you, Grumpy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what you get when you let them get some activities. What are you puffing at me for? You got muscular, which makes me go to bed. So. Did my hair Look get you? Look where his tail is. Curled up on my neck. My shoulder. That's good. Mm -hmm. Around. No. Are you afraid to ride? Okay. <laughs> ben can't see you from there. He's running. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. Back to the pillows. He said, My mama's got me. I'm okay now. So I gotta find something to get into. Go see Carla. <laughs> Look at the size of him. You ought to catch you with this compared to my leg. He's so easy moving though for being this heavy and big as he is. He found my plastic. What's that? <laughs> Did I, I boop you? I put it up there to keep the cold from the glass from getting into the room. It doesn't leak air, it's just cold with glasses. I put my whole on Did you? Yeah. Where are you going, bro? Mm, not going behind him, nope. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to lose you. There we go. Nope. He's taking off because I'm going behind anything. Back this way, bro. That's grumpy. Back this way. I got your tail. Got your tail. Grumpy, grumpy, grump. He can get down on the left seat if he wants to. Well, food time, sorry. Same thing, close enough. Did come right out for you. Here's a 
kind of just laying there and I tapped him a couple times and he looked over at the door and then I grabbed him and he came right out. Yeah. There you go. You come down and stretch out on there. He's not going to let go of you though, I can guarantee you. Terrific, I got the hiccups. I ate so much today. Oh my God, I'm about to die. There, see, I told you he won't leave you. <laughs> you got a friend for life. Oh, Thank look at it. Him. He didn't give you a kiss. So, so I'm not going to leave you for nothing. Hey, go on first. Hey, go on. Hi, Grant. Head shy, huh? People say all snakes are head shy. Whoop. The top of his head? Yeah. It's not too bad. And then you can itch the bottom of his neck a little bit. He likes that too. I wonder what he'd do if you put him down on the food time. Oh. It's kind of curious. See if he'd try to take off and flee. I turned his cage light back on. That distracted him. Chew! Chewy. I caught him chewy again. Grump! Grumpy Grump! <laughs> Find him another video to watch. I want to put a snake video up. I wonder how he'd react to seeing him on one of my videos. That's kind of interesting. If he saw himself on your cell phone, Hi, how he'd react. Hi. Hi. What's up? How are you doing, mister? Hey. Where are you going? You running away? He's gonna hug Ben, his friend. <laughs> Ruffy's adopting Ben. Now he's running away from you. He's hiding up under your beard. <laughs> <laughs> what, Grumpy? Why are you hiding from Carla? Where are you going? He's like, no, I like this guy's beard. He loves Ben to death. He really does. Most animals love Ben to death. <clears throat> he don't want anything to do with anybody if Ben's got him. Fate's over here looking around. Yeah, Fate's been wanting out too. He's been cranky. Hey, buddy. I had to take this water dish away from him three times in a week. Flinging it everywhere. Sliding it all over. That's dumping good. his papers in it. What up, mister? Get you all. Where's his hair at? He's over here. He just ran to a piece of my hair. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. You're a brat. You're a spoiled, rotten brat, Grumpy. Oh, you Your hair poked him in the nose. When he wraps around, it does it every once in a while. You're not going to let Ben put you back in your house? Huh? You're not going to let Ben put you back in your house? I'm going to go see Fade. Hey. That's a boy. You have no use for Fade. There we go. This has worked out so nice with the open insulation on the ceiling that keeps the roof warm so everything slides right off the roof. There we go. You gonna give him a hard time because you're going back in? I don't want to be back in here. I was having fun. No, 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 no. He's gonna back on, turn back on you. There you go. 
Oh, he's just going right up and around the top of his cage. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> right back so I want to stay out. Nope, nope. A bummer. That was a bummer. Say thank you, though. I know. Oh, come on, man. They love being out with people. Look at him. Oh, man. Now he's going to crawl around. Now he's going to pout. He'll prowl for a while and try to figure out how to get back out, and then he's going to pout. He's like, what if I look adorable? Will you take me back out? <laughs> no, he knows how to pout and make me feel sorry for him. Look at that one up there, being lazy. Fade, you lazy thing. Hey. There's this kid in school, and I was telling him about Chewy and how long he is for being a carpet python. And he's like, no, carpet pythons can only be three to four feet long. I said, well, he's longer than that. Jasmine's four feet long and she's only a year old. Yeah, he's like, they can only get to three or four feet long. I love I said, Well, my grandma's is almost 11 feet long. Chewy is 11 feet. And males don't usually get that big, only females do. Oh, he'll go all the way up to the ceiling if you let, he can do it too. He can hold himself up all the way up. Who's got you, Chewy? That's not my mama. You've never held him in here, have you? No. Now, he's flighty. He gets going. He wants to get into everything and check everything out. He's a lot more flighty than <laughs> Grumpy is. He's like, that's me on the computer, man. Yeah, that's you, Chewy. On my monitor. Chew! Chew monster. I like his reverse gearing. How he'll start going in one direction, back himself up. There he goes. <laughs> back away from you. He says, I know my mama's over there. I can pick up her scent. He just wants to be full range. He loves to be stretched out. You want to use your muscles? Is that your thing? Mm-hmm. Look up. I'll let you explore and use your muscles. Hey, bud. As my voice decides to try going away. Mine's been doing that all day. He's so curious. Snakes are very curious animals. They just love to check everything out. Playing pocket mortys. That's how they get in trouble. They come up to people out in the wild to check them out because they're curious about what they are and what they're doing. So people think they're you. being aggressive. Most of the time, time they'd rather run away from you than fight you. Oh, definitely. I'm sorry, but not here. They come up to people out in the wild just because they're curious about what you are and what you're doing. Okay, that people think that's there, being aggressive. So it I love the ones that say the snakes chase you down out in the wild. Yeah, okay. You walk up on any snake, it's going to warn you first off. If that doesn't work, it's going to turn around and try to run and flee. Snakes do not chase you. I call him Stevie Wonder because his head's always going. Hey, Snakey. Chew. <laughs> Chewy, which way are you going? Up to the hat. Oh, what Lord. Poor Ben. Poor Ben. Grumpy wasn't on your hat this time, was he? No. Poor Ben. Chewy, who do you think feels the heaviest weight wise? Probably both pretty similar. Yeah. Chewy's longer. Chewy, or, I, mean, I think Grumpy's longer, but Chewy's. No. Grump. Yeah, Grumpy is 14. Yeah, Grumpy's Chewy's longer, but 11. Chewy seems like he's got more bulk to him. Chewy's more muscular than Grumpy. 
Yeah, that's what I mean by Definitely. He's pure muscle. So he probably nice muscle. hood ornament there, Ben. Yeah, I know. Kind of like... Where's this This isn't... Oh, is. This isn't an obese, <laughs> overfed carpet python. This is You're a strong, face, <laughs> muscular... You might have to take your hat off to see the face. <laughs> Where's Ben? He's got all the weight on the brim. Oh, does he? Oh, jeepers. He slid off the top to the brim. Is that gonna hurt you? I know, I just don't wanna get hit in the face. You won't get hit. Get <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, he's gonna strangle you and have you for dinner, you know. Oh, probably. <laughs> just sit. Let him come. I was trying to without him hitting me in the head. Let him come check you out. He's not gonna hurt you. I know. I'm not scared of him, I just didn't wanna get hit in the head. I don't want him on my head. Why? He only knocked your head off. Maybe the whistle me. between your ears is attracting his attention. <laughs> he really wants to get in Eva's face. Huh? He's really trying to get in her face. Because he knows it's bothering her. He's doing it because he knows it bugs her. Jew! Say, where's my mama? I see everybody but my mama. He's hopping at me. Is he? Yeah, yeah it's warm in here me. for him. What's up, buddy? Where's my mama? That's not my mama. <laughs> Tell you smell like my mama. Where are you going? <laughs> my Stevie Wonder. My Stevie Wonder snake. You hopping at me? Yes, he is. Plus, he's up high, so it's warmer where he's up higher than we are sitting. Plus, Ben's like a walking furnace. So. Is he? Yeah. yeah. What do you know about cold blood animals, Ava? Mm, a lot, but not a lot. Tell not me what. Tell me what the main things you know about them is. Uh, well, they like rodents to eat. Okay. What is it that makes a cold-blooded animal cold-blooded? What is a distinctive feature? <clears throat> no. The difference kind between of a, a warm blooded and a cold blooded animal. Warm blooded animals like us. Cold blooded animals yeah. is a frog. We warm can't... blooded animals regulate our own body temperature. Yeah, that. A cold blooded animal adjusts to the temperature of their surroundings. So if their surroundings are too hot or too cold, it makes them too hot or too cold. And a lot about the chili blind. Hey. <laughs> grumpy, grumpy grump. He can get down on the love seat if he wants to. Well, food time, sorry. Same thing, close enough. Did come right out for you. He was uh, kind of just laying there and I tapped him a couple times and he looked over at the door and then I grabbed him and he came right out. Yeah. I had my hair brushed earlier, but after I cooked and Eddie and Veronica came over and ate and I did all the dishes and I ate the time I sat down and I'm like, I don't care what I look like, nobody's here, my snakes aren't judgmental. So. Uh, it's about I didn't the boat care. I'm in right now. I'm gonna go home, put comfy clothes on. What else did you guys have for dinner? Uh, ziti, chicken broccoli, alfredo, barbecue ribs, chicken, wow. macaroni salad, garlic bread. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm probably forgetting something. He sure does. Can't say I blame him. Ben's likable. God, Carla, he's almost as big as your upper leg. Yeah, and that's saying a lot because my legs are pretty big. 
But this one certain person has be stuck in the mindset that he tried to tell me there's no way Jasmine's only a year old. She's at least three years old, as big as she is. Mm, I'm like, you're a year and a half. No, she had not I got her in August. She was born in August. I didn't get her in August. A year ago in August. August 8th, she was born. The video up of the clutch is on YouTube. She was a year old, August 8th. He swore up and down she's at least two or three years old because she's so big. I said, no, she's not. She eats pinkies and fuzzies. Some people just can't get through their thick heads that snakes are like bodybuilders. They eat a lot. The more active they are, the better their appetite is, for one. Where their appetite is, the more often they want to eat. They get more activities and exercise. All that food they consume turns into muscle. That doesn't make a fat snake. It makes a strong, healthy, muscular snake. This yo-yo guy's mindset. He's determined that Jasmine's overfed because she's almost four feet long and she's a girl. Some people, it's not even worth it to argue with them. Yeah, how that goes. The breeder knows how old she is. He produced her. She's a year old. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going back up here on my security blanket. Yes, too. That tickles. 